The Behavior and Life of the Bonobo Takashi Furuichi, the Japanese scientist studied bonobos in Tanzania to explore why they hunt in different ways. They are genetically closer to humans than they are to gorillas. They are our closest primate cousins. He noticed that male bonobos would show up at feeding sites before females and surrender their positions. He concluded that males would show up first because they had to feed before females. While males may appear before females, this is not surprising. The reason for this behavior is probably based on the fact that males are more active during the day. The females in these groups are often the core of the group, and the males tend to be on the periphery. This provides strong evidence for the possibility of behavioral variation. Especially among males. Adult males rarely behave submissively to young females. The present paper details the behavior of bonobo groups, focusing on the interaction between males and females. While females do not conduct lethal raids, they do engage in genital rubbing. Interestingly, this may help the females predict where the males will travel and avoid attracting unwanted attention. Females bond with the males in their new communities. The sexual bonding between females establishes them as members of the group and helps them integrate with other males. The social status of males is highly stable once a female gives birth. Moreover, females often dominate males in the group, and they perform genital rubbing in order to establish their dominance. However, females are less likely to form sexual bonds with males. While humans and bonobos share a biological similarity, both have very different sexual behavior. When a mother comes to visit her son, she will defend the juvenile's attempts to mate and may even interfere in their mating rituals. But this isn't all. Their mothers also play an important role in protecting their sons from predators. Female bonobos are the dominant animals governing social groups. The males would invite females to sit with him. They would then engage in sexual activity with the females. In a study conducted in the Belgian Animal Park, the males would chase the females into the jungle. The study's findings also showed that males are not the only animals capable of this behavior. In addition to their bipedal gaits, bonobos have an incredible capacity for arboreal travel. They have been known to spend many years traveling through forests. They are able to walk on both land and trees, and they are not very aggressive. Our closest cousins use their sexuality to ease a range of tensions. They have the ability to use their mouths to catch insects and other small animals. While sex is not the only way bonobos communicate, it is important to understand how they communicate with one another. Bonobos can make love face to face. Although the males are tolerant of each other, this arousal can lead to conflict in the wild. A flurry of sexual contacts usually lasts 5 to 10 minutes, and the females use it to resolve conflicts. When it comes to food, the males may be arousing each other and consuming figs. These great apes are known to self-medicate. While males do not seem to have any age preference, the females are generally adolescent. Studies have found that males who have been successful in mating with their partners were more likely to have their mothers present during a conception. Bonobos are sexually promiscuous compared to chimpanzees, which tend to remain more closely tied to reproduction. This means that bonobos are more likely to initiate a new relationship and have babies with new partners. The mother's dominance allows her to exert her influence over her son's behavior. Dominant males in bonobo communities tend to be the sons of prominent females. While chimpanzees can be aggressive, the males in bonobo communities are more cooperative and close. The males groom one another and groom each other after an argument. After a conflict, the females reciprocate with the young migrants. In a common chimpanzee community, sexual behavior is not considered to be sexually active. Bonobos are more common in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Unfortunately, young bonobos are being hunted every day in the Congo. Thanks for watching. Please don't fail to subscribe and like it will help us to make more videos.